welcome back to lecture 2 of coordinate geometry. In this lecture we will talk about how to find the equation of the line when you are just given two points. I divided the task into four equal steps. The first step is that you need to use the two coordinates to find the gradient. Moving on, the second step is that you need to plug in either of the two coordinates in order to find the value of c. Once you have found the value c which is the third step, you now have to write the equation with m and c only which would be a fourth and final step. Now in order to demonstrate how to do this, I have uh, set out a number of questions. Let us begin with question 1a. So in question 1a, you are given two coordinates which are 0, 0 and 1, minus 1. So let's begin with step 1. Step 1 is finding the gradient. So as you remember the formula for gradient is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. In order to make things easier for yourself, label down the coordinates. Write this as x1, y1 and write this as x2, y2. Now y2 is minus y, y1 is 0, minus 0 upon x2 is 1 and x1 is 0. Hence you get minus 1 upon 1 which you can write it as minus 1. Now let's move on to the second step. The second step is that you can use either of the two coordinates. Which one do you want to use? Coordinate A or coordinate B? I'd say let's go with coordinate A because the both the coordinates are 0 comma 0. This would make things easier for us. Now the equation is y is equals to mx plus c. Now what is the value of y? The value of y is 0 is equals to the value of m or the gradient is minus 1 multiplied by the value of x is 0 as well plus c. Now c is equals to 0. Hence the third step is y is equals to mx plus c. Just write down the value of m and c y is equal to the value of m is minus 1 multiplied by x plus 0 as the value of c is 0. As you know that 0 does not make much of a difference you can write this equation as y is equal to minus 1x or y is equal to minus x. Now I want to show you that you would get the same answer using the coordinates 1 comma minus 1 as well. So instead of using the coordinate 0 comma 0 in step 2 we will repeat step 2 with you while using the coordinates 1 comma minus 1. Now y is equals to mx plus c y is, uh, instead of y write minus 1 is equals to instead of m write minus 1 because the gradient was minus 1 and instead of x write 1 plus c. Now moving on minus 1 is equals to minus 1 plus c c is equals to minus 1 plus 1 because I shifted minus 1 to the left hand side of the equation it will become plus 1. Therefore once again c is equals to 0. So you can use either of the two coordinates that doesn't make a difference at all because both the coordinates will yield you the same answer. Now let's move on to part b of the question. In part b you have two coordinates c which is 1 comma 3 and d which is 2 comma 5. Label them down as x1 y1 and x2 y2. Follow the same procedure. Step 1 is finding out the gradient. Now gradient is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So just plug in the numbers. 5 minus 3 upon 2 minus 1. So 5 minus 3 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 divided by 1. Therefore your gradient would be 2. Moving on to step 2, just plug in either of the two coordinates. Let's say we can go with c which is 1 comma 3. Let's plug that in. y is equals to mx plus c. Now instead of y write 3. We have already found out the value of gradient which is 2. Multiply by instead of x write 1 plus c. Now we will move on to the third step of our question which is find the value of c. Now we already know that 3 is equals to 2 plus c. 
therefore c is equals to 3 minus 2 because you shifted 2 to the left hand side of the equation it will become minus 2 therefore c is equals to 1 now moving on to the fourth and final step of the question we just have to write the equation by uh, put, uh, putting in m and c therefore this would become y is equals to instead of writing m write the value of m which is 2 x plus and instead of c write down the value of c which is 1 and hence this would be the equation of the line now let's move on with part c in part c you have two coordinates which are e 2,4 and f minus 2,3 make things easier for yourself write this down as x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 now the first part is step 1 find out the gradient formula is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 plug in the numbers simple 3 minus 4 upon minus 2 minus 2 and this would become minus 1 upon minus 4 both minus minus get cancelled out so you get 1 upon 4 as your gradient. Let's move on to step 2. Step 2 is plugging in the coordinates. I'd say let's go with E. And the coordinates of E are 2 comma 4. Just plug in the numbers. Y is equals to mx plus c. Instead of writing y write 4 is equals to instead of writing m write 1 upon 4 and instead of writing x write 2 plus c. Let's move on to step 3. Step 3 is finding out c. Now this is 4 is equals to 1 upon 4 multiplied by 2 plus c. Then c is equals to 4 minus 2 upon 4 because 1 upon 4 multiplied by 2 is 2 upon 4. And hence the value of c that you will get is 7 upon 2. Let's move on to the fourth and final step which is writing down the equation. Now y is equals to m. What is the value of m? m is 1 upon 4 and then x plus 7 upon 2. And this will be your final answer which is the equation of the line. Moving on, let's try some different types of question. Now in question 2 it says find the equation of each, each of the straight lines given the gradient and the coordinates of point that lies on it. Now it's just simple. simple. I told you the four steps. Now uh, the thing in these questions is that the first step is already done. They have already find out the gradient for us. Now what we have to do is simply just write down the formula which is y is equals to mx plus c. Plug in the numbers. In this case we have number 0 comma 0. Consider this as x1 and consider this as y1. So y would be 0 is equals to gradient would be 1 upon 3 and multiply by x would be once again 0 plus c. Now c is equals to 0. Hence when you find out the value of c what you have to do next is just write down the equation and the equation would be y is equals to 1 upon 3x plus 0. Now instead of writing 0 I can just write the equation as y is equals to 1 upon 3x and this would be considered as my final answer. Moving on with question 4 part b. In question 4 part b the gradient is 3 and the two coordinates are 1 comma 1. Write down this as x1 and write down this as y1. Now simply y is equals to mx plus c. Plug in the numbers. y is 1 is equals to m is 3 multiply by x is also 1 plus c. y is equals to 3 plus c. c is equals to 1 minus 3. As we shifted 3 to the left hand side of the equation it would become minus 3. Therefore c is equals to minus 2. Now what you're left with is the final step which is y is equals to 3x minus 2 and hence you have written the equation. Thanks for watching.